beautiful people. Welcome back. I'm Mina Villegas. Welcome to our studio. Um, in the last video you guys saw, I had tried to do a 36 by 36 inch Kalenshav inspired masterpiece. Um, I don't know about masterpiece. Uh, it's a cool painting and I really do like it, but as I was editing it and watching it, I realized there were a couple of things that I had wanted to do that in the heat of the moment I got kind of excited and I skipped. So I want to try it again today. Hopefully not making as big of a mess and not splattering HOA with so much paint. <laughs> um, specifically the thing that I did not do that I wanted to do was to kind of wreck it in the middle after I had put down some paint and I didn't kind of use as much paint as he usually do, does so we're gonna try that again. So this is a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas. I have taped the back and put my push pins in and I have painted the sides of it with my titanium white because that's what color my base coat is gonna be. So um, the colors I'm using, real quick I'm just gonna point them out to you. They're all this, pretty much the same consistency. I have a phthalo blue from Golden's I have this little piggy in indigo waves and in unicorn, which I love. I have some Amsterdam light turquoise green. I have a Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Quinacridone violet from Golden. Folk Arts Treasure Gold in Fire Opal. Um, permanent violet dark from Golden. Amster no, Liquitex Basics Cadmium Yellow Deep. And I also have some Bordeaux over there, but I don't know if I'm going to use the Bordeaux in the yellow. So this is the same palette that I used last time, but I'm going to switch it up a little bit and we're going to do the blues first. And then if we do a yeet, we'll do it with the pinks and reds. So first thing we're going to do is put down a big puddle of white in the center. This is Amsterdam Titanium White. Everything is mixed with my Golden's Heavy Gel Gloss um, Pouring Medium and American Flow Chalk. This is more watered down than the rest of the paints though. So, okay, let's start with a nice big puddle of white in the center. Okay. And now I'm just gonna take some of my blues and I'm gonna kind of do them in a puddle. Last time I kind of ribboned them around a little bit, but watching a few more of his videos, I realized he actually pours them in puddles on top of each other. That's interesting. We've got some magenta in there. <laughs> and we're going to put some of the indigo waves in there too. And I'm going to put a little bit of gold on there. Also. Okay. So now I'm going to take my palette knife and I'm going to kind of play with this a little bit. Now he sort of flicks it a little bit. Okay. So let's spin that out. Let's see what happens. I'm going to put a little bit more of a flow extender around this. Okay. Now let's give this a spin. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Just <laughs> With your shield. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Stop it. See why I have this big old shield, you know? Yeah, there's not a drop of paint on your shield, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna actually tilt this a little bit to get some of the paint moving down to that edge as well. Because if I kept it where it was, then it would all just keep coming off this one side, which we do not want. This spinner is from Erica Hughes Art. You can find it at ericahughes.art.com and it's expandable. So the spinner itself is a round plate and then it has these lovely arms which make it bigger and these nice little locking clips that keep your canvas from sliding off of the spinner. So let's spin this one more time. Ready, darling? Yep. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I lost that I am. Here we go. And yes, this is making a big mess. So don't do this someplace where you don't want paint everywhere. This is what this studio is for, so I'm okay. Because everything that's delicate is covered. <laughs> okay. And for the record, this is the shield I tried to put up yesterday. <laughs> and she said that I wouldn't need. So, now it's up. Don't 
be a baby. He's just paint. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's spin this some more. This is looking pretty cool, though. And one thing I think I realized is that the spinner that Callum uses is a lot faster. <laughs> but this is looking pretty neat. Okay. I kind of like what's happening, but I think I want to do again because I like some of it, but there's some of it that I'm not crazy about. So I'm going to do it a little differently this time. I'm going to pour a bigger puddle of the blue and then some of the unicorn. I'm going to kind of pour them in like a circle almost this time. Okay, we're gonna take a page from my dear friend Sarah Mack's playbook. And I've never done a ninja swipe before, so I don't know how this is gonna go, but we're gonna flick it and try. Here we go. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Okay. <laughs> okay. And what I think is so cool when he flicks it like that and you actually touch the bottom is you bring up these colors underneath. So let's flick this over here a little bit too. That's cool. And maybe one more. Okay. That's cool. All right. Let's spin this one out now. Let's see what happens. Ready, darling? Yep. pretty neat. Let's give it another good solid spin. Because we don't want to leave too much paint on there. Okay. It's actually pretty cool. I didn't put any gold in the second time, did I? I love what's happening over here, though. We're getting this kind of like purpley color, and I'm assuming that's from the unicorn, which is kind of awesome. What do you think, HOA? Should we try one yeet on there? Oh, heck yeah. Not a big one, a small one? Heck yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the little five ounce Dixie cup instead of the giant 16 ounce cup that I used last time. Um, we're gonna put a little bit of permanent violet dark in there some of our fire opal, a little bit of gold. I'm gonna throw some unicorn in there too, just because I like it and I want to. And we're gonna do a little bit of quinacridone violet on top of that. Okay, so where do I want the yeet? I like this side and what's happening over here, so I think I kinda want it on this side. Maybe like across there. So more on this side. So I'm gonna go over here, way far back. <laughs> Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Let's see if I can do this. Fire at will. Here we go. Whoever will is. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay, that was a little too much. Well, sand you got on a little it. bit of it on the pin. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let's try that again. Maybe not so hard this time, and maybe not quite so much paint. Well, I think you were calibrated for the large cup yesterday. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Some unicorn. Okay, I'm going to put a little tiny bit of this on top, too. Okay. Let's try that again. <laughs> That's really pretty, though, on the, the shield. <laughs> Are you ready, darling? Yes, my love. Here we go. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of unicorn in the bottom of this cup. Because I want to try something. Alright, we're gonna try to do one more. Ready, darling? Yep. Here we go. Mm. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, group. 
pink. <coughs> All right. You ready, honey? Yep. Here we go. Okay. I know there's not enough left. <laughs> but that's pretty awesome. Yep. I don't know if I want more than that, do I? Probably not. Do we want to try one more in here? I'm kind of curious about trying it with my left hand. Oh boy, I don't think I have a big enough shield. <laughs> <laughs> when I duck behind this shield, I'm going to lock the camera up and duck. Okay, we're going to go this way, which I've never done before. So, are you ready, darling? Yep. Here we go. I'm a little scared. <laughs> Just do it. Yeah. Okay, here we go. There we go. That's perfect, actually. Okay, so we're getting more of that spiral, and I love all these little cells coming up through here. Okay, I think I am definitely done now. That's pretty cool looking. Yeah, I like the balance too. Yeah, I like that there's, I like the composition a lot. Okay, we're gonna torch this, and then we're gonna be all set. It's cool looking. I like that there's the one over there, actually. Yeah, I like that really well. Okay. Really helped the balance. That first one was funny as heck, though. Interesting in here. Yeah, that's probably from the ninja swipe, right? Or is that from the open? No, that that, the I, that's thing? just because the paint spread out thin, yeah. I think. Pretty cool though. That's awesome. It's really cool. You don't think we need maybe one more across there? You could, but it doesn't need it. Let's try a small one. Because I really want that unicorn to show up in the heat. Yeah, I'm gonna go way over here. I'm not gonna fling it quite as far. <laughs> All right. Aiming for this area. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm going to twist your wrist. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I lost that I am. Here we go. Yeet. Woo, oh. yay! Wow, <laughs> okay, cool. now I'm done. Conch, That's awesome. Conch shell. I am happy. Unicorn horn. That's freaking cool. Yeah. Okay, okay, awesome. Good. I will show you guys when this is dry. Let's do a nice, slow, sexy spin. That's really cool looking. I'm happy. There is so much paint on my table. <laughs> All right, awesome. So I think this one worked a lot better in terms of remembering to do that wrecking in the middle, the hit, as Callan calls it, and also the the... I like this combination a lot. I like the blues and the greens in the background and then that purple on top of it. I love all these cells that are coming in through there. That's really cool. And I'm so happy we got that last unicorn spiral on there. So this is awesome. I will show you guys when we're dry. We'll be right back. Nifty. Mm -hmm. Cool. Nifty fifties. Oh, that last one's perfect. And that, that unicorn in there is going to be amazing when it dries. Hey, you made, you made a more deliberate turn of your wrist on that last one, didn't you? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cutting. Okay, so this is a couple of days later. It is totally dry now. This one came out so cool. I really love this, like, very abstract look to it. And that one on the corner that we did with my left hand actually... I think really gives this the illusion of this like swirl at the bottom which is pretty awesome i'm loving these colors that light turquoise green is just beautiful the indigo waves is really really pretty the phthalo blue um of course the gold in here this this one yeet with that gold and all those little tiny cells and it is so pretty but for me the star of the show for this one is definitely the unicorn which is inside here in this really cool yeet also. HOA, do you think you could pick it up and like 
kind of lay it down a little bit for us. There we go. You go back a little bit more. Back, like lay it flat. There we go. And you keep a little bit too much. Come back towards me a bit. This is what we go through to get good video. <laughs> but you guys, I hope you guys can see it. Like that beautiful shifting blue to violet is just so pretty. And this whole section in here has a lot of unicorn in it too. I hope it's coming up on camera for you guys because it's really, really neat. You can see it with your eye. It's just yeah, you can see it with the naked eye really, really well. So this one, you could put it back down there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, my love. Um, this one came out pretty cool. I'm really happy with this HOA suggested time warp for a title, and I kind of like that, so I think that's what we're going with. But this was a lot of fun. Thank you again to Kellen Schaub for all your inspiration and the magic that you create. Lots of fun and wonderful to watch. And thank you guys all so much for being here. So we will see you next week. Bye-bye.